Now, Christian Derrissaw has been, let's face it, a staple at left tackle for this Minnesota Vikings offensive line. And he had another great year in the 2023 season. So we're going to take a look at some of his highlights and show you just why this man is one of the best in the business. All right, the first play that we're going to show off is really how athletic he is. Now, you, you can't just be big and be an offensive lineman in the NFL. you got to have awareness, but you have to have great feet. And I think this first play shows that brilliantly. You're going to watch Derisaw on the outside. Now, his job is going to be to really kick out this outside linebacker, but the outside linebacker says, hey, I'm going to work my way underneath. Watch the adjustment and the footwork of Derisaw. Steps to the outside, keeps his shoulders square, and now because of that move, he's saying we're going to pin this whole outside in and open the outside part of this lane. And wow, he collapses that guy all the way inside, gives Chandler a big run on the outside. So the athleticism of Christian Derrissaw, not just the strength, but the footwork in this case is amazing. All right, another off tackle play that depends heavily on Derrissaw and what he's able to do. And you're gonna see in this case, he's going up against Aiden Hutchinson. Good defensive end, right? Watch what Derrissaw is able to do. In this case, the play goes outside. He's Gets that right arm underneath, but he's able to widen Hutchinson and make this hole for Chandler absolutely huge. See his right arm underneath the pads, moving this guy outside, gets that leg in there. He's just trying to tie him up to not let him make the tackle. Chandler's able to get to the second level. So beautiful block on the edge by Derisaw once again. Now, Derisaw is so good up front, heaven forbid he gets up to that second level. This is not what a linebacker wants to see. A little draw play against the Cincinnati Bengals. Watch this, the double team. Those two guys up front have to take care of that three technique up to the linebacker. Now, that D lineman goes underneath. Derrissaw checks. Now he's up on the line. You can't even see this linebacker. I mean, look at this. He has completely got this guy covered, and it allows Chandler to say, I've got a two-way go. Watch what Chandler does. Breaks this thing back inside, takes advantage of a bad angle by the safety and he is out the gate. So Derisaw getting up to that second level, freezing that linebacker, making him disappear on film, breaks a big, big run. Now Derisaw's athleticism turning into a cornerback's absolute worst nightmare. Let me show you what happens right here. You see Derisaw on the outside, while Ty Chandler at quarterback, huh? a little wildcat action. Watch Derisaw, he's gonna get himself to the outside. You're gonna get some great blocks down, and now you're one-on-one -on -one with the corner in space. This corner's saying, I've got zero chance on this one. Does what he can, tries to wrap that leg up and make a tackle, but he's already pushed too far out. So Derisaw's athleticism to get himself on the edge, kicking out the little guys, I'm sure he loved that. Now, another thing I love is the ability to handcuff Derisaw to this guy, Josh Oliver. And when you have these two next to each other, they're gonna move some bodies. Now watch what they do here and watch how well they work together on this combination. You're gonna get an off tackle style run. You start with the double team and the whole point is to get that defensive lineman out of that gap between the two. Derisaw coming down, Oliver pushing him out. Then Derisaw makes it to that next level, pushes the linebacker. Look at the gap that's open right here. That's a tough block to tell Chandler, you've got a runner right where this defensive tackle was. Man, that's a great play. Get a little better block from the outside, this may go to the second level, but what a great combo block by Oliver and Derisaw. Talk about athleticism and size, how about a zone cutoff? But in this case, Derisaw actually has to cut off the defensive lineman who is already in this gap. Can he do it? Watch the footwork. Watch this, off the ball, crosses the face of the lineman. Now once he engages, this is Randall McDaniel style. He's gonna get into his body, keep turning him, getting him off his feet, getting him on the ground. Anytime an offensive lineman can get a D lineman on the ground, that's a huge win for the offense. Another example of the zone cutoff. Again, look at where this defensive lineman is. He is way inside there. Derisaw is gonna have to cut this guy off. Can he do it? The way he works together with Reisner is a beautiful thing. Watch this right here. He's able to, on the snap of the football, turn. Reisner holds him just up enough and Look at that, Derisaw getting across his face. They have that guy completely cut off. They have the wall built, and this should end up being a nice run. But that combo block between Derisaw and Reisner makes a big play. The guy can move, the big man can move and cut off guys he has no business getting to. Now you get to see Derisaw's impersonation of the human wrecking ball. Watch him on the outside right here. He's just gonna 
come down on this defensive tackle and watch the movement he gets. That's a 330 some pound man. He's getting up on one leg and then he's not finished. He's getting up to the second level, getting that linebacker out of the way. Huge, huge play by Derisaw. All right, we saw the power. Now we're gonna get back to the athleticism. Again, Derisaw has to make sure that this gap is secured and that the guard can reach the guy in the B gap. Watch what he's able to do. Big stiff hand, make sure that that gap is taken care of. Now he's up on Fred Warner. Now he has an all pro linebacker in space. Most big guys can't do this. Able to get up on Warner, but stays with him. Stays on him, pushes him outside, allows the cutback. Just a great play of Derisaw getting out on the edge and making things happen. All right, now let's do a dive in Derisaw as a pass protector in this first play. On the snap, you're gonna see this defensive end. He thinks he's getting the overset and has the ability to work underneath. He thinks, yeah, I got a lane here. I can get underneath. But the way Derisaw is able to plant that left foot, redirect, keep those feet moving, and collapse this down, it builds a wall. And when you can build a wall like that for Kirk Cousins, and with no one in his face, he's able to do things like this. Keep his eyes down the field and find TJ Hawkinson on a deep over route. So Derisaw, the feet, the ability to just push a guy out of the way is amazing. One of my favorite plays by Derisaw this year is this one. His ability when a D lineman goes from speed to power and recover, unbelievable. Watch this right here. You see him on the outside. The defensive end is gonna start north and south and then work his way into Derisaw's body. See the left arm right on his chest. He's gonna try to walk Derisaw back into the lap of the quarterback. Notice Derisaw's body position right here. He's pretty much upright but watch this, he's able to jump back and drop that anchor. That defensive lineman can no longer collapse, but to see a 300 and some pound man jump those feet back and that angle, that body angle, unbelievable. Feet sliding, still keeps his feet going and pushes them up past the quarterback. Speed to power, doesn't work on Derisaw. So how do you know if he's an elite tackle? Well, he's gotta go against some elite defenders. And in this case, he's going against Nick Bosa. Watch this play right here. Bosa getting up the field. He's gonna try to go to some power because he has Derisaw kind of crunched over. His feet are underneath him. He's not in a power position, but watch what Derisaw does. Gets those hands in there, gets those feet back, and he's holding Bosa close to him so Bosa can't extend that arm. So he's got him in there. He's saying, hey dude, you're stuck. You're not going anywhere. And just rides him out for the rest of the play. Bosa unable to escape the hands of Christian Derisaw. So Bosa says, well, I can't get big on him and I can't collapse him back to the quarterback, so I'm gonna try going underneath. We'll see how that works. Again, Derisaw is so good at redirecting. On the snap, Bosa's working outside, trying to pull him out to open that lane underneath. But as he comes under, Derisaw keeping his shoulders square, setting his feet, and look at that punch, putting Bosa on the ground. When you've got a guy putting an all pro on the ground, you know you've got something special. Now, perhaps one of the most underrated part of any offensive lineman is their punch. Look at the strength of this punch going against Nick Bosa on the outside again. Getting himself upfield, has his hands on Bosa, but watch what he's able to do. Get that strength, push him on the ground. Bosa's like, no, I can't get around you. The guy's in the way. The feet, the hands, the punch, the strength, the athleticism, a wonderful combination. And Christian Derisaw is a fantastic offensive tackle.